Hey guys, right here I have a 2015 Volkswagen Tiguan 2 liter TDI for Motion R Line. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key, let's go ahead and start it up first. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows simultaneously and to roll them back up together just press and hold on the lock button. To start, put your foot on the brake, insert the key into the slot right here, and twist it like you would in a normal car. The first generation Tiguan comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system. Tiguan's specified with the R-Line trim gets a leather-wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at the 10, 2, 4 and 8 o'clock positions, perforated sections at the top and bottom, a flat bottom design and R-Line badging on the bottom spoke. When paired to the 4Motion equipped 2.0-litre TDI engine producing 138 horsepower, the Tiguan has a choice of either a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed direct shift gearbox as seen in this car. Direct shift gearbox, otherwise known as DSG, is basically VW's name for its dual-clutch automated manual transmission. One clutch controls gears 1, 3, 5 and 7, while the other clutch controls gears 2, 4 and 6. DSG aims to give drivers smoother shifts, less lag between shift times, and improved fuel efficiency over a regular automatic. Due to the nature of a DSG, a torque converter as found in a conventional automatic transmission as well as a clutch pedal as found in a conventional manual transmission is not needed. There is sport mode for this transmission and tiptronic manual shifting, the latter activated by shifting the gear lever over to the left while in drive. For the Tiptronic mode, push the lever forward to upshift and pull back to downshift. Shifting into reverse activate the R-Line's standard front and rear parking sensors and its diagram that shows up on a 5-inch infotainment display. The base of the gear lever is covered in leather as well. Safety features standard on the Tiguan R-Line includes 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force, distribution and brake assist, electronic stability control, electronic differential lock, traction control, an alarm system with immobilizer, tire pressure monitoring system, and isofix child seat anchor points for the rear seats. Now, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. The bonnet release is located to the left of the front passenger's footwell. The Tiguan R-Line does come standard with 18-inch Mallory alloy rims. 
the rims on this car are wrapped in Bridgestone Dweller HP Sport 23550 R18 tyres. The brakes are ventilated discs in front and solid discs out back. The suspension comprises of McPherson struts in front and a multi-link rear setup. R-Line Tiguan's does have a sports suspension setup. Approach angle, ramp over angle and departure angle for the Tiguan is 18 degrees, 20 degrees and 25 degrees respectively. The Tiguan is VW's answer to the likes of the BMW X1, the Mercedes-Benz GLA and the Audi Q3. In fact, the Tiguan shares the same PQ35 platform as the Q3. Debuting in concept form at the 2006 Los Angeles International Auto Show, the production version of the first generation Tiguan was shown to the public at the 2007 Frankfurt Motor Show. The facelift appeared at the 2011 Geneva Motor Show for the 2012 model year. Over the years when the first generation Tiguan was in production, which is from 2007 until present, the car constantly received various updates to keep it in line with the current VWs of that year. At the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show, VW unveiled the second generation Tiguan for the 2016 model year. This Tiguan gets a 2.0-litre, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbo diesel inline 4 engine with common rail direct injection. This engine produces 138 horsepower at 4200 rpm and 320Nm of torque between 1750 and 2500 rpm. With the DSG and 4 motion, 0 to 62 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 10.2 seconds, and the top speed is 117 miles per hour or 188 kilometers per hour. The fuel tank measures 64 liters, and the combined fuel consumption for the Tiguan 2 liter TDI for motion DSG is 47.1 miles per gallon or 6 liters per 100 kilometers. Carbon dioxide emissions is 158 grams per kilometer, and this Tiguan does get VWs for motion all-wheel drive system. The first generation Tiguan debuted in the UK back in January 2008. Over the 7 years the Tiguan was on sale, various trim levels, engine and transmission choices and interior and exterior options were available. The facelifted model went on sale in September 2011. A full list of current Tiguan variants available in the UK is listed out in the description box below this video. Exterior features of the Tiguan R line includes automatic auto leveling adaptive by Xenon headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED rear number plate lights, headlight washer system, cornering lights, front and rear fog lights, front and rear parking sensors, park assist automatic parking system, dual exhausts, indicators on the side mirrors, body colored door handles, side mirrors and rear spoiler chrome side window surrounds, chrome plated roof rails, black front grille with double chrome slats, R-Line badging, and the R-Line styling pack that consists of R-Line design front and rear bumpers, black wheel arch extensions, and body coloured side skirts with matte chrome trim. have your speaker down there together with some storage and right up here you do have your window controls all of them are fully automatic in both ways 
window lock and your mirror controls. This car does have heated side mirrors. And you do have your central locking buttons right next to the interior door handle on the driver's side. To the left of the headlight switch, you have the lever to adjust the brightness of the interior. And you do have a bit of storage down below. Our line door sill for the side. And the driver's seat in this Tiguan R-Line does get full manual adjustments. This knob controls your seat back. This lever controls your lumbar support. This lever controls your seat height. And that lever down there controls your seat position. You do have under seat storage for the driver's side and the front passenger side. All right. So let's go ahead and see how she revs. The Tiguan R-Line does come standard with a dual zone automatic climate control system with all of your controls located right here. It is quite simple to use. You do have your automatic mode, air conditioning, sync, off, fan speed, front and rear defrost, recirculation, different modes, driver side temperature and your passenger side temperature. Now, sync means if you have it turned on, the driver side will control the temperature for both sides but if you turn it off, each side will have their own individual temperature controls. This Tiguan R-Line does come standard with the RNS315 head unit that features a 5-inch color touch screen display, various media connectivity options, navigation, and 8 speakers for the sound system.
I must say, for stock sound system, the speakers in the Tiguan do sound quite good. We are currently in your main Bluetooth audio streaming menu. With your current song playing information, you do have the artist, title, album, song duration. And to the left of the display, you do have your SD card slot, your radio button which allows you to go to your FM, AM and DAB digital radio menus. And under those menus, you can perform a manual tuning search, look at your list of available radio stations in the area, so on and so forth. If you hit the media button, it goes to your different media options. You do have CD, auxiliary, USB, Bluetooth audio streaming, SD card input, and iPod connectivity. If you hit the phone button, it brings up your Bluetooth telephone menu, where you can dial a number, look at your phone book, look at your call lists, listen to your voicemail, and all that. Now, the display is a touchscreen display, but if you did not want to use the touchscreen, you can use this knob in the center to scroll through the menus. Also, the two um, options down below, again, if you do not want to use the touch screen, you can use the two buttons on either sides of the knob in the middle. To select that option, push the knob down. And to go back, hit the back button. Right here, you do have your auxiliary port, and right here, you do have your um, volume and power knob. To the right of the display, if you hit the nav button, brings up your navigation options. You can enter an address, destination memory, last destinations, the nearest petrol station or car park, as well as your points of interest. You can add a home address, so every time you want to go home, just hit the home address button and the system will guide you home. To go to your map, um, there are actually two ways. You can hit the nav button once more, or you can hit the map button right here. And right now, we are in your maps. Your extras button brings up your different map views. You can start your guidance just by hitting start and to zoom in and out of the map, use the knob. The traffic button brings up your traffic information and your setup button brings up your um, traffic setup, your system setup with your language, keypad layout, aircon display, the display itself with your brightness, automatic day night mode, and resetting back to factory settings and your clock display. Hit the sound button to bring up your sound system settings with your volume, bass mid-range, treble, balance and fader. And that's about it. Right above, you do have your CD player. It is MP3 compatible. Eject button for the CD player, your info button, as well as your C track buttons. Electronic central locking. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your audio controls with your volume, C-track buttons, your on-hook off-hook button for the Bluetooth telephone system, and this button down here, it has two functions. If the car is equipped with voice control, this activates your voice control, but if it isn't, this acts as your mute button. On the right spoke, the up, down, left, right, OK and return buttons control your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. 
Up and down goes through your sub-menus, while left and right goes through your main menus. Right now, you do have your range, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, elapsed time, speed warning, oil temperature, average speed, distance travel, and back to your range. Now, if you go to a menu like this, that says a since start right above, if you hit the OK button, you can go between long term and since start. Next up, we do have your audio menu, and right here you can change your song, change your radio station, increase the volume and all that. Your navigation menu, your um, guidance will be displayed right there if you do have your navigation active, but if the navigation isn't active, it just shows a compass. Your Bluetooth telephone menu, your driver assist systems, you can turn off your adaptive lights and all that. And your system settings with your language, what you want to be displayed on the multifunction display, your convenience settings with your locks, window operation and all that. Your lights and vision. Coasting, setting the time, winter tires, units, your tire pressure monitoring system, your service information, and resetting the system back to factory settings. Within the display, down below, you do have your digital speedometer, mileage, trip meter, outside temperature, and right above, you do have your time, your direction of travel, and your gear position. On the right stall, you do have your wiper controls. And on the left stall, you do have your indicator controls. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it via this lever right here. You do have quite a bit of storage down here. A smaller storage area right up here, together with a power outlet. And right down here, as shown earlier, this button activates your parking sensors. This one is for your auto park system. This one turns on or off your auto start stop system. If you do have the system activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol or diesel depending on what the car is running on. And right here, you can turn off the vehicle's traction control. You do have a couple of cup holders right here with a cover if you did not want the cup holders exposed. A bit more storage. And right here you do have your electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, pull the lever back up. You do have a, an auto hold function for the parking brake whereby if activated, you arrive at a stop the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. Adjustable center armrest. With storage down below, you also do have your media in port right here, which allows you to purchase um, cables from VW and on the other end of that cable can either be your USB port, your iPod connectivity and all that. Auto dimming, rear view mirror, your interior lights right above,
sunglass holder and the sun visor for the driver's side it does have a vanity mirror and a light grip handle for the driver Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. You do have your speaker down there together with a bit of storage and your window control is right up here. The rear seats in the Tiguan do fold down. They split 60-40 when folding and to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then locate these straps, pull it. It moves the seat base forward and flips the seat back down. Then just push on the seat back to lock it in place. To move the seat back back up, pull the strap again to unlock the seat back. Then just flip the seat back up. Use the same strap to adjust the angle of the seat back so you can have the seat back more upright or more laid back. Depending on what you prefer. You can also move the seats forward and back so you can have more boot space and less leg room or more leg room and less boot space. To move the seats forward, locate the bar down below you do have a bit of storage down here I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I actually do have quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get quite a lot, about this much. And about this much headroom. It is actually quite spacious back here for this kind of car. You do have tray tables on the seat backs with a cutout for a cup holder. You do have storage pockets as well. Rear aircon vents. Power outlet. cup holders and there is a rear center armrest for this car pull this strap and flip the seat back down you do have a couple of cup holders right here as well Your rear lights right above, it's a dial, so you can turn it off, turn the left side light on, 
move to this position so when the doors open the lights turn on turn on the right light and turn on both lights And you do have grip handles on the ceiling with hooks for both sides at the back. You also do have hooks on the B pillars. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate a touchpad just above the number plate. The Tiguan's boot measures 470 litres with the rear seat backs in place and 1510 litres with the rear seat backs folded and the cargo cover removed. To the left of the boot, there is a light that illuminates the area, a power outlet as well as a storage compartment that houses the vehicle's jack. Underneath the boot floor, you can find the vehicle's spare tyre and some storage. This Tiguan is equipped with privacy glass for the rear windows and the rear windscreen. You do have adjustable headrests front yeah. You do have your window control right here. 
And right down there, you do have some storage together with your speaker. Our line door sill on this side as well. And the front passenger seat in this Tiguan does get full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side, including your height support and lumbar support. You even do have the R badging on the headrest itself. And also, this side does have the underfloor storage too. Lockable glove box. It is quite big. Grip handle for this side. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror and a light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2015 Volkswagen Tiguan 2 liter TDI for motion R line. Thanks for watching and goodbye.